and I'm back for Love of Hip Hop New York Season 8, Episode 13, St. Martin, Martin, Part 1. If it seems like how I'm blowing through these reviews, I am, but you also have to realize that it's been time since many of these shows have already been out. So I'm not going to sit here and be the dead horse when you guys have already seen it. And for some of these shows, even had I watched it same day, I'm probably going to go through these fast. The only one that I'm really spending time on is Miami. And the very last episode of Our Little Women, I'm probably going to have a little bit to say about that. <laughs> but that's not why we're here. Look, y'all, I'm tired. Okay, I'm fucking tired. It's fucking 10 4 at night. And I'm still trying to get over here in Europe, in Germany. Okay, so I'm trying to get these videos out to y'all. Okay, stay with me. So picking up where we left, y'all, Bianca pretty much says to, you know, uh, what's her name, Bree, bitch, you said on site. So she goes and gets her. Dream does a l the whole little twinkle twinkle little star stealing from fucking Mariah and shit. Mariah pretty much said, I'ma sit on your man's face. And now, you know, Dream wants to, you know, go to fucking her. Yandy sits... I'm sorry. Remy takes Bianca and Mariah outside. Yang take with the other two. Commands Dream and Bree on, you know, not going all the way the fuck off. Remy says she's over Mariah. We move on to the scene. Pap tells Remy she can go to <clears throat> St. Mart because of Abia. Get to another fucking scene. Anais tells uh, Jonathan she's back at home. But she doesn't know where her relationship stands with uh, Ruben. Moving on to another motherfucking scene. <clears throat> Yandy, Juju, Jonathan, and Anais. Anais feels that Yandy stole her best friend. Yandy mentions this trip. Jonathan says that Anais, you know, would be a great addition. Yandy says that this is not a distraction or vacation. Anais gets up on the stage and she performs. She does a good job. I'm skating the fuck through this because again, New York ain't giving me shit. Nah, I'm giving y'all what the fuck they give me, which ain't shit. <laughs> so, as a sit down, Yandy wants Safari to come and he wants to, you know, remix Paradise and then donate the proceeds. Different scene, Navarro went to court with Fetty Wap. Later on, he meets with Ashley. Ashley apologizes. He apologizes to her. They make up. I think their storyline is dead for the remainder of this fucking show. Um, so we move on to Safari Fur Coat album release, which is what Juju called it, but we later found out that it was an EP. But whatever. Um, Juju comes to support. Okay. Jaque and Cayenne stop by. Safari invites Jaque to the trip, you know, because he don't want to be the only guy there, plus he also wants him on the track. Now, Juju in, in a later scene meets up with Yandy, and Juju mentions how well, John Quinn invited somebody else to the motherfucking trip. Yandy not really feeling it, but as long as they there help, she's fine with it, because you know Yandy had a motherfucking storyline this whole motherfucking time and shit. And Yandy whole thing, she's gonna separate everybody, where everybody's not under one roof to kind of like keep, you know, bullshit at a minimum. So, <clears throat> Mariah is, and self me. Mariah says that, you know, she's loyal sometimes to a fall. He says that you have to be able to check your friend, which I totally fucking agree. Let them know when they're wrong. Self brings up the trip and the bag, which is also her music. She doesn't want to, like, work things out because uh, Bree's going to be there. But she said she reluctantly agrees to, you know, uh, pretty much dead the shit for right now. So now they're at St. Martin, <clears throat> Bree, Yandy, John, and Aise, they are all in uh, one villa. And Aise is acting like she don't want to be a team player. John is trying to tell her, like, you need to stop acting the fucking ass and try to help us, you know, uh, pack and unpack some of this shit. She questions their friendship, and that's the end of that. Juju, Jacque, Zafar, Mariah are in another villa. Uh, Cayenne's supposed to be flying in later. Cayenne and Bree apparently got beef, so that's going to be addressed later. And Juju pretty much uh, tell the men that, hey, you guys are staying in the hotel. Kaya will be staying with uh, Jacque, but she and Mariah are staying there. Hennessy and Bianca. So we get to meet Hennessy. She just finished fashion school, and Bianca needs her to style her. But uh, She doesn't like that Mariah did not tell her that she was going and that she's going to have the dress later. My only thing is <clears throat> I didn't like Hennessy in this scene because she's it seemed like she's Cardi B 2.0. I know people are going to say that they're sisters. I have two older brothers and I have a baby brother. I can assure you 
I am not like my brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have our similarities. But in terms of personalities, you're not going to see any one of my brothers and see me. And for the most part, actually, none of us, none of us are the fuck alike. And my baby brother is my half brother, but he's still my baby brother. He didn't grow up with us. The other three of us, we someone grew up. There is an age, there is age differences there. But even still, you see all three of us together. We don't like. We have minute similarities, but one of us is not like the other. Hennessy is like Cardi B, and I don't, and I don't really think that's her. I think that she's like latched onto her personality and is trying to use that to catapult herself. And if she gonna be on this show, <clears throat> I want to see Hennessy, not a Cardi B makeover. So they're giving out food back at St. Martin. And Aiz says that she wants to have a sit down with Yanni. And Aiz tells her, you know, to not come for her and stay away from Jonathan. Yanni got fed up with it. She says, you know what? I ain't come here for this. We had this conversation later. And Aiz get to clap and talk about you. I want to see the bitch come out of me. And that's what the episode ends. I have gay shit to y'all. And you know, under six minutes and 30 seconds, that's all I got. Miami's next piece.